Many of the foreign students enrolled in business schools across the United States have made big investments in their American education, hoping their tuition dollars will one day pay off with a generous job offer from a U.S. firm. Nazla Usinsarola, a native of Turkey, was one of those students. She recently graduated from a prestigious business school and accepted a job offer at investment banking giant Merrill Lynch. One of the things that, you know, uh, drew me to a place like Merrill Lynch is definitely the, the, the great training program that they have. Like even the small banks are trying to recruit off of uh, people who have already, you know, had experience at places like this because they know how prestigious it is. But her offer did not last long. Like some other giant investment banks, Merrill Lynch saw its stock plummet as the U.S. financial crisis spread. Bank of America took it over. Bank of America then borrowed money from the Troubled Asset Relief Program, a government program to bail out banks affected by the financial crisis. In doing so, Bank of America subjected itself to rules that limit H-1B visas, the essential document for hiring foreign workers. Vivek Wadwa is a fellow with the Labor and Work Life Program at Harvard Law School. He says these restrictions are not only xenophobic, they're causing a brain drain just when the U.S. economy needs talent and innovation the most. The problem with this legislation is that we're telling the world that when things get tough, we close our doors. The best and the brightest see greater opportunities elsewhere. That they'd rather go to Australia where they know they can work for a few years and pay off their student loans or get a, in a high-tech job in Canada rather than come to the United States. This is a big loss for the United States. Wadwa's research shows that about one-fourth of all American technology companies were founded by immigrants. He says this finding supports the theory that foreign workers often create jobs for Americans instead of taking them. As for Usin Sarola, seeing her dream job evaporate taught her a valuable lesson. You, you can never make sure that you're going to be all right. Basically, you, t you have to take the necessary precau precautions not to be left out there. For her, that means both signing up for another semester of school and continuing her job search. Paige Hullick, VOA News, New York.